What's going on guys? This is the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life. Coming back at you guys once again with another Revelation Online video. Today, I'm doing a little bit of uh, some solo dungeoning, man. This is a one of the first dungeons that you actually go through uh, in the storyline in Quest. And uh, I've actually seen I've actually seen some people post this dungeon before, but it was actually the questing version. So you go through a questing version uh, first, and then you go into... Uh, it'll give you the... Uh, the ability to go into the 5-man version and what I'm running right now is actually the level 20 5-man version so with this instance actually unlocks right around the time you do the trial of the four emperors dungeon right around pretty much right around uh, level 20 and this is what this is uh, this is what I'm doing here today I'm actually level 37 as you could see and uh, I just wanted to solo this man I just wanted to see if I could actually do this with my gunslinger here and uh, uh, thankfully I can I, I, I was quite surprised that I could actually do it but uh, then again you know the mobs I think scaled up from levels uh, 20 and the final boss was I think it was like level 28 uh, so there's a little bit of a jump in the uh, level cap but uh, it starts out at 20 and I think the uh, like I said the boss uh, levels levels go all the way up to uh, 28 at, at the uh, at the most uh, but here you go guys, this is what we're rocking right here, I'm pretty much just, you know, uh, soloing it, practicing it out, you know, uh, see if I could do it, and uh, I ended up, I, like I said, I did, I was trying to get some good gear, man, like I said, um, when I was soloing this, I, I was pretty much, my intention was I wanted to try and see if, like, what kinds of uh, purple gear, uh, you know, the epic loots can drop from this, and uh, to my surprise, I actually had uh, quite a number of drops today, you could actually do this five times before they lock you out, and uh, yeah, so I, when, you know, the first time I remember when I first came in here, I actually only was rocking the uh, level 14, level 15 green common gear or whatever. My gear was pretty shit, not gonna lie. I haven't been, uh, I haven't been able to uh, dungeon run with anybody in this game because unfortunately, um, on the CN version, the raid finder isn't highly used. Uh, people like to actually group up through the chat, and that's something I haven't actually discovered yet. I've, like I said, I've only been on this server for a couple of days, and it's only just to try it out. Uh, pretty much before CBT, which is right around the corner, man. That is next week. Next fucking week. I'm so hyped. Exactly one week from now as this comes out. Uh, so, uh, you know, hopefully you guys are doing all your research, and because uh, it's going to be a real good time, definitely. I think they're going to be giving us the ability... Uh, those of you who got a CBT key or a Founders Pack, you're going to be able to um, pretty much download the game, I think, a little bit earlier uh, before release. Uh, they don't have a specific time, but I'm guessing it may be like a midnight release kind of thing, midnight midnight launch. I don't know. I'm not sure, um, you know, whatever time zone they, they're in. Figured out that the servers were actually in Northern California for NA and Amsterdam uh, for EU, so you'd be looking out for that uh, in case of you want to check what your ping is like. Uh, that's that's where the servers are at. Uh, my ping is, I think it's gonna be around, I'm thinking like 60 to 70 MS ping. Uh, that's just because you know um, I'm a little bit further away from the uh, Northern California uh, area, but that's all right. Anything below 100, I'll take it any damn day. Uh, so uh, yeah. Um, so as you can see over here, coming over to the first boss, and like I said, I didn't think I was actually gonna be able to do this, but I figured out that. Uh, the only important thing that you really need when soloing this is actually the weapon, okay? The we I'm gonna, you're gonna get to see that at the end of the video. I actually have the crafted weapon, the weapon that I talked about uh, before my gearing video that um, at level 37, if you do all your orange questing, remember this, take notes on this now. If you do all your orange questing, you're gonna be able to craft your first best in slot crafted weapon at level 37. That stuff is a huge upgrade in terms of your gear man i'm not gonna lie and the good thing about it is that they actually hand it to you like they give you the mats they wanted to, they want to show you what it's like they give you all the mats if you follow the quest line and you're able to craft uh the level 37 weapon right there uh so uh yeah so and with that weapon man my dps went up quite a bunch man not gonna lie um i, I was i was hitting a lot of crits as well as my just my damage overall um you can actually see that see what the amount of damage that i'm doing on the i think the middle left side of the screen you can see my stats right there uh, for this dungeon as you can see right there and then a little bit below that you can see the DPS meter uh, that I'm so happy they have DPS meters in this game and that's another thing too is that they, that's actually how you know 
that this isn't the questing version. I've seen people, like I said, that would post videos about this dungeon saying, oh, I soloed this, I soloed that, but the thing is, yeah, you soloed it, but that was the questing version. You can do that 99 times a day. This one, you can only do five times a day because you actually get good loot from this. <laughs> you know what I mean? This instance, this part of the raid was made for five people. Um, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's just another indication, um, you know. It's, it's a little bit misleading, and you know, I, I would watch these videos, and I'm like, man, you guys are soloing it pretty good, but, you know, realizing it that uh, you can actually tell that it's not the instance when the DPS meters don't come out, or it, it's not on the screen or whatever, so, uh, yeah. As you can see right there, beat that first boss, man, got me some, uh, got me some good loot here. Well, actually, no, you know what, now that I think about it as I'm watching this, I actually, the loot is actually pretty anticlimactic, as you can see, I got, like, a damn potion and one blue that I can't even use. That's a thing, that's another thing, too, is that, uh, Kind of similar to WoW, uh, you'll get gear that may not even be tailored to your class, and it may just end up being vendored or whatever, but uh, I, I thought that was pretty cool too, uh, that uh, you're still going to be able to get gear, but the whole battling it out with RNG, it may not be for you. Uh, you'll see it at the end of the video, I look over the, uh, the loot table that I ended up getting, and uh, didn't actually get anything in particular that I wanted or anything that uh, was of use for my class. I think I got stuff for like the Vanguard class or like the Spirit Shaper. Uh, nothing in particular for the Gunslinger and if I did I don't think I used it because everything that I have right now is pretty much uh, a pretty solid state I guess. Well it's not really tailored to my level as you can see that you know I'm level 37. I'm actually rocking like level 20 to 28 gear. Blue and purple gear. Um, that I actually got from uh, running this place over and over again. Like I said, you can do it five times. Um, but uh, yeah, no, like I said, you don't necessarily need to have the best gear uh, to do this run, this five-man run, uh, you know, to be able to solo it. Like I said, the important thing is that you actually have that weapon. You know, like I said, by default, you're going to have that weapon at 37. You just got to follow the questing, uh, the quest line. You're going to have it no matter what. And it's, it's pretty damn good, not, not going to lie. It's really good. Uh, in terms of DPS, it's got some good rolls on it by default. Uh, and then you're able to refine it too. Remember we talked about refining the other day. Um, you're going to be able to refine it. I realized that refining the fucking crafted weapon is a lot harder than I expected. I got pretty... And you know, watching my refining video, I got pretty damn lucky, dude. Like, fuck, I got pretty lucky on those rolls, getting it to max and whatnot. Well, with this one, I tried to do it today. I tried to refine the crafted weapon today. And I could barely get past 2%. Everything was failing. I was like, what the fuck is this? I thought the refining was supposed to be easy. But no, man, the RNG, it's, it's so RNG based. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you try, I, I tried to, I had like a 55, maybe like even up to a 75% chance on like level 2 or something like that. Still couldn't get that shit. It took me so many tries just to get 2%. So the crafted weapons, or the crafted gear in general, that stuff is pretty hard to refine. But I guess that's all, that's the fun in it. You know, it, it'll be quite surprising when you actually get it. And, um, yeah, no, that's just, I don't know. It's just the uh, element implemented in the game. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try and find, get some, I'm gonna try and find uh, some gems. I wanna get some gems for this weapon. By default, it has two sockets. I think I could actually buy up to six sockets, I believe. I've seen people with actually three, or no, six gems on one piece of gear on their, on their weapon. Uh, so I'm going to see if I could do that for my crafted weapon. Um, so yeah, uh, here we are, by the way, at the, uh, the final boss, as you can see, I'm kiting him around a lot. So whenever I start off my rotation, I actually, I don't know if you saw that, but uh, I take my little buddy out, my robot guy. And then I slide my uh, my booby trap, my bomb, right into his DM uh, to get a little bit more damage in. And then we go ahead and start off with the, uh, or follow up with the uh, buzz saws and then go into the thruster bombs or whatever. Just trying to implement as much DPS as I can with this class. Uh, this is a pretty fun class. It, uh, it's super, like it's got a lot of DPS. Um, the thing about it is that you actually, I, I found out that... It's kind of a glass cannon if you think about it. Now I tried to put some stats into my or some points into my build where I my secondary stats is magic defense and uh, physical damage defense, uh, but it's still I think I, I still take a pretty decent amount of damage, moderate amount of damage uh, in comparison to like a maybe like a, a vanguard or something like that. But uh, uh, overall the damage is quite incredible uh, for this class, uh, true glass cannon, if you, if you, uh, if you know what that term is, it's kind of a glass cannon class, but I think if I, if I go a little bit further into the game, I know that if I gear this character up just right, uh, it's, it's, the defense isn't gonna be so bad, and I'm just gonna be, 
you know, busted out some DPS and, and being able to have a high rate of sur survivability, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. Just I just know that uh, this class does a lot of DPS, and if you're a fan of the range DPS class, definitely give this class a try. The Gunslinger is pretty fun. I'm actually quite confused. I, I don't know what I'm going to main yet on the release. Now, usually I would actually do, like, um, maybe, like, the Paladin class, which in this game is the Vanguard. I know if I did the Vanguard, I would be a lot happy, but... I wanted to try something different. I don't know. I may do Vanguard Main and Gunslinger Alt. Uh, because, like I said, I do like the Gunslinger. It's a fun class. Absolutely awesome. It, it is, I just think what really sold it for me was that it has it has a uh, a mech ability, the mech suit. I think that's that shit is really fucking awesome. Uh, but uh, I, I know for a fact that my if I was to play a class that fits my playing style, with any other MMO in general, I always pick the classes that were similar to like the Vanguard. Uh, in this class, but uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so you can see my build right here, or my gear. As you can see, pretty decent. Not, not, not it's nothing too special. I got a couple purples here and there. Um, nothing's really refined except the weapon. We'll get down to the weapon. Um, and uh, yeah, as you can see right there, it's the level 37 crafted weapon. Um, that's gonna be your first crafted gear that you're actually gonna get uh, just by questing. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, other than that, level 20 gear uh, in terms of accessories, and then I got a couple, like I said, the, my, my best gear is mostly like my, you know, headpiece, my uh, hands, and whatever, stuff like that, legs and all that. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, other than that, you can see my build right there, focusing a lot on agility for the uh, gunslinger. You wanted to go with agility since that focuses on crit as well, and we all know that crit damage does a lot. Uh, either way, guys, this video is coming to an end. I Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more Revelation content to come your way. Th drop a like if you enjoyed it, as always. And I hope you're all having a very easy day. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more to come. Thank you so much for watching. Have a very easy day. And this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life. And I'm out. Peace.